Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of halothen. Halothen, an inhaled general anesthetic. So, how about halothen? What is it? Halothen is an inhaled general anesthetic. It induces an anesthetic state rapidly and allows quick recovery from anesthesia. Halothen is non-explosive, a mildly bronchodilator, at least it is not bronchoirritant, and has a pleasant order so the children like it. Decreases blood pressure and sensitizes the myocardium to catecholamines. Halothen is a potent. What are the therapeutic uses of halothen? Halothen is a potent anesthetic but a weak analgesic. Usually co administered with nitrous oxide, opioid, or local anesthetic. It relaxes skeletal and also smooth muscles like that of the uterus and also the bronchus. So as because it relaxes the skeletal and, and the uterine muscle, it is, it is a good anesthesi anesthetic agent when muscle relaxation is a good factor. But the problem is that as because it also relaxes the uterine muscles, so after the obstetric surgery like that of C-section, or placental removal of the normal delivery. There may be excessive postpartum hemorrhage. There is more possibility of postpartum hemorrhage because of relaxation of the uterine muscle used in obstetric, pediatric, and plastic surgery. It is not hepatotoxic in the pediatric age group but it is it may be hepatotoxic rarely in the adult individual so how about the pharmacokinetics of halothen halothen is oxidatively metabolized in the body in the liver and produces tissue toxic hydrocarbon and bromide ions these substances rarely induce toxic reaction, especially in women. The reaction is manifested by fever, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice. Jaundice, there is excessive bilirubin in the body, manifested by yellow coloration. 50% of patients will die of hepatic necrosis. So those who get Hepatotoxicity, 50% of them die from hepatic necrosis. Halothen, although hepatic toxicity is rare, halothen should not be readministered within three weeks. This is a precaution. So if you need a repeat surgery or second surgery, the interval between first halothen and the second halothen induction of anesthesia should be could be an interval of three weeks or more. What are the adverse effects of halothen? Halothen stimulates the vagus nerve, the tenth cranial nerve, and induces bradycardia. And that bradycardia is treatable by atropine, that is an anticholinergic drug. It also cause arrhythmia and hypotension mostly by depressive action on the cardiac muscle and that hyper hypotension there is decreased blood pressure is treatable by phenylephrine okay so we got that we may have adverse effect that is the malignant hyperthermia. Why this happened? 
there is no exact answer it may be due to some genetic problem in the calcium channel of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle there will be excessive release of calcium in the cytoplasm that is the sarcoplasm of the muscle this may happen and in a small percentage of patient this malignant hyperthermia may ha happen this is hyperthermia that the temperature rise up very quickly within a few hours maybe several degree celsius temperature will be high temperature may go to 105 degree fahrenheit okay so the exact cause of malignant hyperthermia is not known we have just mentioned managed by co-administration of dentrolen that is a muscle relaxant with cardiorespiratory and renal support okay so this malignant hyperthermia may happen more in a patient who also get simultaneously succinyl choline as well as other anesthetic agent so in those condition succinyl choline and other anesthetic agent together along with halothen that may lead to more chance to get malignant hyperthermia so we have some notes about halothen this is a this is good for patient with asthma because it will not cause bronchoconstriction it may be mildly bronchodilator halothen is hepatotoxic in adults that is not always rarely it is hepatotoxic mortality rate from malignant hyperthermia is 10 percent despite all type of supports like cooling giving dentrolen if it is convulsion then we'll give anti-convulsant we give muscle relaxant to manage malignant hyperthermia despite that the mortality rate is 10 percent so there is some contraindication for halothen in burn victims in patients with myotonia osteogenesis imperfecta central cord disease these are some genetic disorder of the neuromuscular junction Duchenne muscular dystrophy there is some defective gene and the dystrophin gene will be will be mi missing okay in that person will lose the muscles especially this is a pediatric disease this is a pediatric disease and pheochromocytoma excessive release of catecholamine especially epinephrine from the adrenal medulla tumor okay these all are relative contraindication for halothen in malignant hyperthermia there is linked with what is the reason for malignant hyperthermia excessive calcium ion in the sarcoplasm sarcoplasm is a cytoplasm of the muscle okay especially skeletal muscle sarcoplasm and what will happen why this happen there is a mutation in the palm for calcium in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay so there is a reason for malignant hyperthermia okay and that's all about the pharmacology of the halothen anesthetic if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now